we're on. I think. I'm not even connecting up this big mic because I'll forget to switch it on. Good evening. Uh, hi guys, Todd here. Vlog time. Uh, righty ho, here we go. Big surprise for you. Just voted. Um, just been down and voted. Uh, this will be in two parts because I've got 15 minutes and then I'm going for my dinner and then I'll come back and finish this because I don't think I'll do this in 15 minutes. Um, however, what I will say is I have notes. I, I do, I have notes on on what I should be discussing. Um, and wow. Uh, anyway, right, first things first, shout out for Bunny. Uh, Bunny, thank you. Nice to chat to you. Uh, what happened there? Uh, right, so that was Bunny, that's done. Uh, other thing, um, that was. Uh, <laughs> all the uh, 253 before that was uh, all the funds all the the stingrays that uh, were up for auction last week finished at the weekend there last weekend and uh, they've all been sent out and last guy's picking his up tomorrow uh, I think that was about 400 pound for uh, Sam H Scottish Association for Mental Health which I'm well chuffed about um, I have put my billet box, my brass billet box, up for auction. Um, I have lots of devices here, more than one guy could ever use, uh, and you know, so I, I hand them, you know, for example, let's swap this. See, three of those boxes there down there, uh, that's filled with gear that's going out on the big raffle that I'm going to do in June. Uh, masses of stuff uh, and I'm going to do that, that's charity raffle so you can buy tickets and so there's loads of stuff. Stuff I have, right, and, and I'll show you, this is this is my gear. Um, so I've got some my favourite mech mods up there and I've got some box mods up there okay and I've got some tanks over there and um, um, atties and things that's what I own myself that's it so I don't you know some people have this impression I have hundreds and hundreds of gear I don't I don't really have that much for a guy that Anyway, um, now the billet box is up there. <sighs> Love it. A brass billet box. Yeah, I'm just so lucky to get it from... Thank you, Mr. Marley. Um, but, you know, I just... I know it's worth a lot of money to somebody. And rather than sitting on a shelf, I'd rather do something decent with the money uh, than, you know, just sitting there and me looking at it and drooling over it, have a little vape every once in a while. Uh, I'd rather, you know, anyway, I'm talking shite here. Uh, so I put it up and it's already up to something like two and a half thousand pounds. Now, 80% of that money shall be going to the Alzheimer Society in the UK, um, which I think is a dementia, is a, I think is a horrendous thing. And uh, so that's where that money's going. I'm keeping 20% for myself. Do you want to know why? I'm keeping 20% for myself because I'm going to buy a turntable for the shed. Yes, I want to listen to vinyl in my shed. I was out at the shops. There's a little charity shop, not a charity shop, but it's a little shop that sells uh, LPs and vinyl in Dunfermline. And uh, I just, I've never been in, so I popped in and very very first album I bought when I was a kid uh, was this Haircut 100 uh, Pelican Days and um, I, I couldn't 99p a whole bit of vinyl uh, I mean this was released when I bought this the first time round this was 1982 when I bought this the first time round 1982 <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, 
So I'm going to get a turntable as well. But anyway, um, so that that's up for auction. So the the brass billet box will be going. Um, excuse me a second, but milky milky. Um, I keep forgetting what that was from. That was from a comedy program, Stony Bridge. It was a comedy. Was it a comedy? I can't remember. Don't write in and remind me, please. Uh, right, so that's a bit And that takes me on nicely. See, this having notes, this really works well. Um, however, I'm going off tangent on it. Contacting me. Right, please, I, I, I've got this on my YouTube channel and at the bottom of every video it says to contact me, do this. And I've said this a few times, if you email me through YouTube, personal messages on YouTube, I, I don't respond to them. Because I get so much shite coming through from them, like um, Chinese companies trying to get you to, you know, review clones and things. I just, they all go into the bin. Uh, so, you know, if you want to contact me, go through Facebook, go through my email, and you'll get me. Why do I switch off comments on YouTube? Because uh, I found that uh, and please take this in the way that I'm, I'm saying it, don't take offence at this. It's too easy for ball bags and fannies to post shite below your videos. And I've no time for that. I would rather communicate with them through Facebook, email, you know, and, and, and so that's what I do. I have no time for communicating through YouTube because the times that I have, I find I just spend my time blocking people because they're some idiots. Uh, so that's why I don't do responses to YouTube. I hope that's clear. I have a funny feeling I'll be saying that again in a while. Um, right. Um, done that. Done that. Uh, right. Oh, yes. Um coils. I've written coils down there and I don't know why. I'll come back to that one. <laughs> it's, it's so much easier when you just waffle shite. Uh, right. Oh, another one. This is boring stuff. No juice reviews. Just to remind folk that keep emailing, emailing me and so on and whatnot. Do not do juice reviews, okay? Occasionally, once in a blue moon, I may or somebody I've known for a long time that's decided to do a juice, I will say, okay, give us a little taste. Um, and that's the only time I do it. And it's only for people that I've known for quite some time. So please don't contact me, ask me to try your juice. I get Facebook messages, at least three a day, people asking me to try their juice. That sounds so wrong. Uh, but anyway, so that's juice reviews. Uh, done that, done that, done that. Another thing about reviews, uh, when you see me posting photos up on uh, Instagram, Facebook and so on, um, I tend to post up photos of new gear when it arrives, just to give you a sneak peek. Um, don't ask me for an opinion on anything when I'm posting up these photos, because I'll not give you an opinion until I've done the review, because I'm not in a position to give an opinion, really, at that point. And this is all too serious. This is all too serious. Uh, bollocks to this. Um, what I've been vaping today, I've been vaping on my M1, which I really, really like, uh, with the Orion V2 Aria Beyond Vape. Um, now this remind now this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's very, very similar to, and I'm off to Cloud9 vaping. Uh, because that's where I last saw it. I've mentioned this before. Oh, geez. Pants and hamsters and uh, rebuildable atomizers. Won't be under there. Rebuildables drippers. It was the, yeah, the Neo Vape Tech Venturi. It's, the Ryan V2 is very similar to that, um, as in it's got a dripper. 
then you've got a cone section that goes over the top, then you've got the top cap, and then you've got a, a vent bit in the top. Very, very similar. Um, yummy. Um, I don't, I don't, I've not found any faults with this so far. Um, yeah, no faults with it as yet. What I do really like, what I've been... See this thing, the burning tab that came from, uh, you know, the Friday morning guys. Uh, you know, you can build on here, but you can check your resistance, but you can also test fire as well. See building your coils on this is just great. It, it really is a really good wee bit of kit. Uh, really good bit of kit. Oh, uh, right. What's uh, what's going on here? I just want to put a shout out to Thomas and Claire, yet again. A couple that come into the shop, love them a bit, really do. Thomas, Thomas is an arsehole. He is, I can say this, he's an arsehole because he reminds me of me so much, it's frightening. Um, it really does. Um, anyway, I feel for you Claire, I really do. Uh, where was I going? Where was I going? Stop looking at the screen. Right. What's this? Oh, you haven't seen this. This arrived. This is from, uh, this is the Half Moon. Who who sent me this again? Uh, vape Gear. Uh, reviews. No. Oh. Right, it's not, it's not playing ball. Oh, come on, expand. Um, Half Moon, who made this? Half Moon, Half Moon Mods, that's it. Um, they're a small mod shop out of Boston, Massachusetts, USA. Um, the, I mean, the, the tube is a seamless, it's an 18650 mod, this. Um, the ST1 mechanical mod, which is completely handcrafted in-house. Uh, they do not employ any CNC machinery and every piece is made by them 100%. Um, this, this, See, this button is really nice. Uh, the threading on this, right? I, this is strange. I'm, I'm kind of at a, a point here now that um, see the past few mechanical mods I've had. It started with the, the Fugati DX. Um, there's there's quite a few little companies now putting out mechanical mods that, in my opinion, are it's like we've got to this point with mechanical mods where these guys are just making them perfectly, which is great. Um, it's absolutely fantastic because, you know, for so long you got mods with shitty switches and crap threading and, and all this and whatnot, but the the, the quality of, of that is, is just brilliant. I mean, as a tube mod, it's just perfect, uh, absolutely perfect. Love it to bits. Uh, so a review for that shall be coming. Um, that's my goose juice. Um, oh, this arrived. Now this is the... I'm getting into trouble. It's not the Dove Poo. It's Dove Poo. Dove Poo. Right, this is a strange... This was sent to me by Elegant Vapor. They're also, they're also sending me the M Class on, so I'm going to get to play with the M Class. Uh, but this is a, a, a dual 18650 box mod, but it's kind of different. It's, um, and you just think, oh, it's just a dual 18650. But it also, you have a window there, and it gives you the, you push the button, and it'll tell you the charge in your batteries, and when you keep, when you're firing away, it gives you the under load reading. It doesn't do anything else at all. Nothing at all. It's got a really rattly button. Uh, but uh, 
and it is as light as a feather, cheap as chips, and uh, it performs quite well. Uh, but it's you know just strange to see that non-variable voltage or anything like that. It just gives you a reading under load and what charges in your batteries. So that's the GX200. Uh, I think it's the GX200 by Dovepo, not Dovepo. Not allowed to say Dovepo. Um, for those of you that didn't see, I did a wee video on uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, which was the MVP Pro. MVP3 Pro, uh, <coughs> 4,500 milliamp hour, 60 watts, this one, and it goes all the way down to, and I could be wrong, but I think it's 0 0.2 it'll go down to. Um, same screen, all the rest of it, uh, uh, and it's just, it's the MVP3 Pro. It's the exact same as MVP3, except it does a couple of different things. I'm not knocking it. Joe, it's actually very good. It's, it's very good. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll 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 do a quick update on that. Um, did I show you the Nuki? I showed I, did, oh, I showed the Nuki off in uh, a, a quick video. Um, here's again Nuki. Not Nuki the bear, but Nuki. Uh, you got to say Nuki. You don't just say Nuki. You've got to say it like you mean it. Um, anyway, still been enjoying using this. Um, no issues with that, apart from what I mentioned before. Uh, I did. I came home to a little bit of vape mail from uh, Minwoo at the uh, Boost Vaping Lab, or is it Boost Vaping now? He's just called or Boost Vaping Lab. It's a, a rider. Um, it's, I, I'm a huge fan of these good things. The, the, the rider mod. I, I've now got three of them. And, I'll, yeah, I just think they're great things. Um, the switch looks a bit... The switch feels a lot better on it. I didn't actually realise he'd come out with a new one or was coming out with him, but he's not emailed me or anything to say, so I'll, I'll have to go and check and see what the differences are. Um, but I'll, I'll, I shall update you on that accordingly. Uh, feeding time at the zoo. I'll be back in a minute. I'll be slightly larger and maybe have spaghetti sauce down my face. And back again. Belly. Uh, right. Switch everything back on here because it's all going to sleep. Um, what was I talking about? Nuki? Nuki! Um, uh, yeah, I think I've done the Nuki bit. No, the rider. I just finished doing talking about the, the, the boost rider. I think. So we've done the Nuki, we've done the GX Pro, we've done that, we've done that. I'll tell you something. This. Um, this um, I, I talked about this. I've talked about this a couple of times. I think this is the, I'm pretty sure this M-I-K-S-T mixed, or whatever you want to call it, um, I'm sure it's the exact same software or same chip or whatnot as the, the Smock 50. Because I just watched uh, Nick's, Grim Green's uh, review on... Uh, the thing, the smock that he did, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this, it just seems to be identical to it, it just seems to be identical, so uh, yeah, um, I'm still going to do a wee review on it, because I, I actually really like this, I mean this is, what did they say, it was, it was going to be dirt cheap this thing, but you know, it's not let me down, and um, unlike Nick's one, when I crank this up to 50 watts, it puts out 50 watts. Uh, so, uh, a little update on TJ's farts. Um, this is it here. Um, I did, uh, I've let a few people try this today and uh, a lot of people seem to like it. So this whole, uh, you know, bottling it up and uh, selling it off for charity uh, looks like that will go ahead because it's it's not utter crap, because uh, I didn't want to just, you know. 
It's one thing buying a little bottle of juice and doing you a little bit for charity, but there's no much point in doing it if the juice tastes like shit. Um, I've got to sort out my language here, this is terrible. Um, right, where else have we got to? Be Mortimer. <laughs> Sorry, somebody just sent me a joke. Right, I don't get... Okay, two Irishmen were standing at the base of a flagpole looking up. A blonde walks by and asks them what they're doing. Paddy replied, we're supposed to be finding the height of this flagpole but we don't have a ladder. The blonde took out an adjustable spanner from her bag, loosened a few bolts and laid the flagpole down. She got a tape measure out of her pocket, took a few measurements and announced that it was 18 feet and 6 inches. Then she walked off. And Mick said to Paddy, isn't that just like a blonde? We need the bloody height and she just gives us the length. Mike, stop sending me jokes. <laughs> They're shite. I'm only kidding. Um, I get that. I don't know. I don't. Um, I've been vaping with this this week as well. Uh, my Kato and my mirror. Uh, my Kato. Um, no battery in it. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, you know. Oh, I'll mention this because I have to mention this. I was sent two ESP30s on by Aspire and I think I've mentioned this already um, Turning knobby, not adjusty um, This didn't just happen on the one they sent me Within half an hour of using the second one the same thing happened again Now I found a few instances, instances instant, in occurrences instances of this happening uh, I've seen it on uh, Aspire's own forums and whatnot. there's been a, few, a couple of folk have complained of the same issue um, it might be from a bad batch I don't know um, I sell, we sell these in, our sh in, in the shop I work in and I, I've not had them back uh, the ones I've sold so I'm just assuming it could only be a bad batch or something so they've asked me to send it back so that the engineers can check it but as a reviewer, I have to mention it to you guys. So I am. There we go. ESP. Uh, whoever you're buying it from, keep your receipt. Uh, that's all I would say to you. Keep your receipt. Um, right. I'm trapped. Right. I, what did I do? Oh, I had a. a Right, I had a, a plan here, right. So we've done becoming a reviewer, coils. What was the coils thing about? Ah, I know what it was about. Uh, there was, ah, um, oh, forget the lad's name, nice bloke. Um, on ECF, uh, they were talking about Kudo Concept Coilers or something like that. And uh, it was a lot of comments saying, Todd's no master coiler. And uh, I thought it was quite funny. I always belittle my coiling skills um, and the evidence is all there in video for those to see. For me, personally, when I put a coil in, I couldn't give a monkey's what it looks like. As long as it heats up from the inside out and I get vapour, jobs are good in. So, um, but, but that's another thing, you know, there's people, there's different aspects of the market, you know, some people are into that, um, you know, coiling it and, and getting it looking just like a work of art and doing fancy stuff. Oh, here, I've got a couple of uh, Clarkton coils that I've got to, oh, I'll be building with that. Um, young Thomas gave me these. Um, what was I saying? Aye, coiling. There's some people that are really into it, you know, like Clapton coils and things like this, and it has to be perfect, and I'm not. That's not my thing, and and so I don't spend a lot of time on it in reviews. I'll show you my coil that I've just thrown together, uh, and that'll do me. That'll do me nicely. Um, you know, each to their own at the end of the day. Uh, each to their own. But, yes, you can take the piss out of me and my coiling skills all you like. Uh, 
Right, so that was that's what the coils were about. I've done the contact and I've done the no opinion until a review goes up, no juice reviews. Uh, shout out for Bunny. Here's one I was going to talk about. Um, as I was watching, um, oh, what's it called? Um, you know the reviewers' queue, uh, the the YouTube channel. There's there's a UK one on the go as well now, and I really want to. I'd feel really bad if I didn't mention it properly. Um, UK no vape vape talk UK. Um, I've watched a couple of them now. Well, there only has been two, I think. Um, the channel's called Vape Talk UK, and you've got uh, vaping vaping with Vic, the angry Scotsman. Fat Vapor, Everyday Vapor, Big Tom and Pixel Vape uh, are the ones I've seen. Um, quite enjoyable. They swear too much. But that's just me. You know, guys will be guys, we chat, you know, we swear. But um, anyway. Um, I enjoy listening to it. And where was I going with this? Yes. Um, this wasn't on my notes. But I'll discuss it anyway. Right. Um No fucking I'm just sworn. Um uh, <laughs> Where was I gonna see this doing notes? I'm just screwed. I need a vape. I need to vape something. Um No battery in my Dibby. This will not do. This that's that's like battery that way. Um not putting a battery in my Dibby is like cardinal sin. Uh, I should always have a battery in my Dibby. Squonk. Ooh. Ball sacks. Right, where was I going with this? Uh, yeah, I need a vape. <laughs> fucking airflow. Uh, oh, come on, man, get a grip. Um, right, where was I going? Where was I going? Right, here we go. Uh, vape Talk UK. They were talking about reviewers new reviewers and stuff like that a bit noisy oh, I've got two ear holes open that's what it is it's only a single coil um, right so they were talking about that I was listening to that I was enjoying it and whatnot um, right my advice if you want to become a reviewer what is a reviewer? That's the one thing you ought to get clear in your head. Right, first things first, I would say to you is, if you watch idiots like me doing reviews and think to yourself, look at all the cool shit he gets for free, I'm going to become a reviewer so I can get stuff for free. You're in it for the wrong reason. Forget it. People will see through you like that. Uh, they'll just see through you and they'll know they will know you're talking you're in it for the wrong reasons people aren't daft you know they're not daft um, so if, if that's what's in your head about getting free shit uh, then don't do it don't do it um, I've said this before my first year of reviewing uh, I didn't get anything for free I bought everything and it cost me a fortune an absolute fortune that was back when I was earning loads of money and it wasn't a problem I just bought all this shit um, it's only now after I've got a certain amount of subscribers that I tend to get stuff for free now uh, so there's that to begin with time the amount of time that you have to invest into doing reviews 
is frightening. Absolutely frightening. You, it's it's like, it's like joining the army. It's not a job. It's a way of life. Uh, and, and that's what happens when you start reviewing. It becomes a way of life. You spend every minute outside your work or out at, you know, your spare time prepping, recording, editing, editing, re-recording because you forgot to switch the microphone on, all that stuff. Emails, Facebook, communication, forums, everything. It is so time consuming. Um, so it's not an easy thing. To, no, sorry. I'm not saying it's not easy. It's just time consuming. Okay? If you're prepared to put the time in, great. Um, it's... it's uh, for me, it's a great hobby. I, you've got to be a bit... <laughs> you got to be a bit up yourself, let's face it. I mean, you're, you're sitting talking into a camera and you you do, it's not persona because I'm, I am here, what I am outside and work and everything. I'm the same guy. I don't put on any, any act or anything like that. I am this stupid. Um, almost. I, I, however, in saying that, for some people, it... Uh, some people do put on this persona, this act, and it becomes a show, uh, and, and it works for them. Uh, uh, so, good for them. You know, uh, there's, there's different, you have to decide who you're going to be for your reviews as well. I mean, but, uh, me, be yourself. Be yourself, be honest, and, and at the end of the day, the big thing you have to remember is that you're doing what you're doing to help other people. I'm not making it like I'm an angel. I'm a hell. I'm anything but an angel. But first and foremost, the whole point of doing a review is to help other people make a decision on whether or not to buy something. That's all you do reviews for. That that's it. Uh, that's it. I love it. I'd recommend it to anybody. Get a decent camera. Um, <sighs> ah yeah. Go for it, knock yourself out. The more reviewers, the better, in my opinion. Um, and you'll know yourself. There's a lot of up-and-coming ones that are very good. Um, and there's, you know, there's some that are utter shit. And uh, there's some that are just in it for to get free juice. And, and then there's others. Avoid ones with big noses. From up north, um, hey Damien, uh, I'm all kidding. Uh, right. So that 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 was good. That was I got that upcoming. No, I haven't done that. That was why I don't know. That wasn't that bit. That was. Here's another bit on my list. I've had so many people asking me, "Am I going to vape jam, vape fest, and all this and what not?" No, is the answer to that. The simple answer to that is that. Um, I actually, believe it or not, um, I do suffer quite badly from what's known as social anxiety. I do. I'm not very good in any kind of crowd. I'm not very good in any situations like that. Um, that's why I do a lot of raising money for Scottish Association for Mental Health because of issues I've had with mental health throughout my life. Um, I'm not embarrassed by it. I think more people should be more open about that and raise awareness for it. Um, but I, I, the reason I do the job I do, working with the public every day, is, is my <laughs> medication, if you like. I put myself in a position where I, I force myself not to hide, if you like, uh, from social situations. But I know for a fact, going to a crowded place where so many people actually know me and and may have expectations of me scares the living shit out of me. So that's why I don't go to meets. Um, so there you go, you know. Uh, oh my god. Oh, back in a minute. I had to run into the house to get this. Um, geek, geek. 
Right, remember I had a disaster with my squonking box? Uh, well, uh, this arrived today, version 2, and I cheated. I absolutely cheated this time. And am I embarrassed to admit it? Mm, a little bit. Uh, but hey ho, you got to do what you got to do. I asked him to pre drill it. So he pre drilled a hole there for my dearly do. Uh, and he pre drilled a hole for me to pop my switch into as well. So that was a DIY mod box. D oh, I've mentioned this in other reviews. You can find it from there. Um, so I should have been doing that this weekend. However, I was going to be finished building this and, and, and I just can't wait to get this built. Um, 50 milliamps, 16 volt, 50 milliamps switch. Anyway, um, yeah, I've got to say the quality, the, once again the quality of this is really nice and you know this, this cost me delivered to my door from Italy. Right, the, the box itself was about, was it £17 or something like that? And because I, I, I worked it at £20 because I got the holes pre-drilled. Um, but, you know, once I get my sled and bottle and everything in there and all wired up, I, you know, I, I'm going to be so happy with this. I really am. Um, and that's that. Hello sunshine, Whoa, he's my boy, he's been all well, yes he has, he's been well, uh, right, uh, let's do, um, right, uh, my channel on YouTube, the videos that I recorded, I did the Chalice version 3, which I love, you may have gathered from the review, um, the SMY60 VV mod, uh, now, from other reviewers, or another reviews I've seen, it appears that there are other versions available from other places that have different screws so that you don't get the rattle. Also, that uh, you can press the plus and minus button and it will lock the device as well. You don't have to go through the menu. On mine, to get it to lock, I had to go through the menu. It wouldn't lock just by pressing the plus and minus button. There you go. Uh, the Odyssey. Uh, variable voltage device pants um, and, and that's it um, other reviews I've been watching what I've got um, none really I've not really been watching there's quite a few things um, no nah. No, 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 no. I see people getting their first impressions of the IPv4. Uh, nah, um, that appealed to me. Uh, reviews coming up. I have my calendar, Google Calendar. Uh, now, do you know I can't be arsed doing anything else this week? I think I'm going to have to move the Archibuzz to next week. <laughs> Uh, I've done the Odyssey, I've done the Chalice as well, so that's done, so I don't think I'm going to have any reviews out this weekend, sorry guys, but uh, I now have a kitchen to build, love my wife. Um, next week I've got Freight Train Mods, my DNA 40 pipe, ooh, can wait. Um, Next weekend, I've got the, the Friday morning gear to show you. And some other stuff as well. Um, I've got other stuff that I've been asked to review. And I can't even remember what half of it is now, so that'll have to do. Um, I've got... Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Guys, I'm not going to waffle anymore. I'm not even going to say I think that's it and then bore you to death for another 10 minutes. I've said everything I need to say. Um, I've had a shit week, by the way. 
worst week ever. I'd love to rant about it, but I won't bore you to death. Will I? No, I won't. No. Um, I'm away to build a Clapton coil. Or sorry, coil with a Clapton coil. Um, thank you all for watching and uh, we shall catch up with you next time. Have a lovely weekend guys. Bye now. Oh I 45,000 subscribers. Ha! Go you guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. Right, I'll shut up now. Bye.